How's it going, boys? We back. And before we get started, uh, subscribe, like, share. Definitely subscribe. Definitely like. Definitely share. Um, like I tell you guys, and I'm going to keep on telling you guys, you know, if I can run my numbers up. Uh, today, I have kind of like a little, I don't know, like a little kind of venting video. Not even a venting video, just kind of like, you know, put in perspective to a lot of, you know, collectors out there, especially collectors of this game. Um, but before we get started, uh, of course, usually I like to open a pack or do, you know, check some mail or do something. So today, I'm going to continue opening some of the mail that I got from my homie, Daniel. Uh, once again, shoot plug. Uh, check him out. Twizzle Club. Solid dude. Um, but um, I'm going to show this one actually last. I'm going to give a nice little casual shout out to my homie TJ. A hey, shout out my homie TJ. Um, he was doing a pool game that day. And uh, the day that I, I think I pulled, well, one of the pool games. And he bought an ETB and he literally got nothing. And like the whole TV, all he got was, well, these reverses, which is pretty cool. Um, and one V card, like out of the whole ETB. So bless his heart. Uh, and then of course, uh, some of the, what's it called? And he opened a little bit of battle styles too. And he didn't get jack shit in that one either. But you know, he put in the check, he goes, who wants it? And I was like, bet, I'll take it. So. Literally, he was like, bet, Eddie can have it. And I was like, hell yeah. So, shout out my boy TJ. Blessing me one time with a little bit of bulk, a little bit of, you know, some reverses. And, of course, right now, me building some master sets. Reverses are definitely appreciated. Um, so, now, this card, I didn't pull myself. Um, Chris actually pulled it. And I ended up messaging him, like, hey, bro, I kind of need that card from you. Uh, Chris doesn't mind to, you know, sell me stuff. Especially, like, I don't think he's doing the master set for Chilling Rain anyways. So he was like, ah, you know what, whatever, I'll sell it to you. So he blessed me one time. Um, and since it was already in Daniel's possession, he just, bam, slid it over. And enough waiting. Bam. Chris Devine deal. Um, got that Shadow Rider V. Um, I really hate... All right, so buying cards is, of course, awesome. But I don't know. I kind of hate that I don't pull it myself. But hey, you know what? It's cool. Um, as you guys know, Shadow Rider Remax, the uh, he actually pulled Shadow Rider Remax, uh, the alternate art too with this one. So he had the set, and I was like, hey, let me get it. But he, like I said, he doesn't mind selling it to me, so it's pretty cool. Um, now looking at this one in hand, it's really well centered. It's like not that bad to be honest. Uh, it's a really good, pretty. It's a really pretty card. Um, I have Shadow Rider, I have Shadow Rider V now, and I try to be the what's called alternate art. So. This is definitely beautiful. I'm gonna put that boy to the side so he can hang out with me. Um, and then today, as far as like, you know, me talking about this shit and, you know, basically trying to, you know, record at the same time, I'm gonna let Rayquaza hang out with me because today I got a good old pre release. Um, I don't believe the hype that the pre releases, you know, have these amazing pull rates or anything, but I feel for it. And my girl was at this local um this local shop that we have here and they had them for like 24 bucks so i was like hey you know what go ahead and give me one one time it won't hurt nobody and 24 bucks for hopefully a, a really good pre-release oh and um it was called four packs fuck it i'll do it um and i know i literally said the other day um mindless pack openings and you know whatever is dead but i am going to talk a little bit of shit in between it so i brought up rayquaza for some good luck and all right so the other day i was telling you guys about like the whole situation with like um pre-releases and flaffy work right, so one i don't think people understand that pokemon isn't going to put a hollow card of a v card they're putting in the deck um like back in chill and rain they weren't gonna put the, what's called Bird Trio Hollows in Chilling Rain. Um, just like they weren't gonna put the Urshifu um, Hollows, the Single Strike and Rapid Strike, and Battle Styles. They put it in the next set. Um, like in Chilling Rain, they had the Bird Trios, uh, Vs. So in the next set, they put the Hollows. And that's the reason why they did that. Um, so to go ahead and, you know, touch the subject on why Pokemon makes certain decisions. Um, that's, that's, you know, that's kind of why. And then two, 
um, they pick really playable cards for the pre-release cards. They don't pick the what's aesthetically pleasing. They they weren't gonna pick um, Jolteon, Ombreon, and Vaporeon and Evolving Skies because it's Evolving Skies. They weren't gonna pick Rayquaza. They're gonna pick the most playable cards that they like that they like in the set. Um, Chilling Rain, for example. Chilling Rain used um, Inteleon. And they they love the Inteleon is such, is such a great card. They used Inteleon to, you know, as a pre-release. Um, and Evolving Skies, the bird trios are really good because all of them accelerate energy. This Articuno is especially good because he accelerates psychic energy. And right now, psychic is just, it's turning into a really good, you know, typing and deck-wise. And I know everybody wants to trash Flaffy. Flaffy is going to be the best electric accelerator in the meta for at least a year. Um, hopefully a little bit longer. Hopefully the whole time it stays in rotation. Which reminds me, as if I am if I have to pick right now which one to choose. Um, also, Molters is pretty good because he accelerates dark, darkness energy. But if I have to pick one right now that I hope I get, I hope I get... Flaffy, yes! <laughs> And yeah, so hell yeah, like I said, I personally, out of all of them, money-wise, I think this is gonna hold its value a lot more than the other ones. And then, what's it called, just in general? I don't know, I like Flaffy. The birds are pretty cool, but Flaffy's, you know, Flaffy's solid. Especially, he's technically an uncommon. A stage one that has this, also a stage two, that they decided to pull the pre-release. How, how rare is that? That's weird that they did that. But like I said, Pokemon, and this is the main topic of the video. Bam. First of all, everybody can say Pokemon's for the kids, Pokemon's for this. No, I'm going to tell you guys what it is. Pokemon is for the TCG players. Not necessarily the kids. Let me see if I get all of this. Not necessarily the kids. Not necessarily... Um, age demographic it is for the tcg players um i've always told everybody pokemon first cares about the players because play at the actual tcg play gameplay is what keeps the game alive collecting is the second part about it if tcg playing like the, the the meta keeps it going collecting keeps it keeps it alive the meta keeps it going if that makes any sense um it makes sense in my head and i'll probably cry to myself later Anyways, if I didn't make sense, call me out down there. I don't care. But, um, what's it called? So, TCG caters to the players. So, that's the reason you, we got a Flaffy P release. That's the reason why they put those bird trios and they're going to be so good. That's the reason random cards, like that back my last video, that literally nobody like nobody was going to think about it. What was it again? It was, uh, a Drizzle. It's so expensive because right now in the meta, it's so good. There can be such cool cards and such cool chase, like a Charizard, and it doesn't matter because it doesn't do anything, any crazy numbers in the meta. And then there can be a regular nobody ass card, like an Inteleon, and everyone's going batshit crazy because they want it because they want to run it in the deck. But, so going back to my original point of that, Pokemon caters 100% to the CCG players. I think, Collectors are in the conversation, but I don't think it at all affects affects their decisions as much as as much as the players. Um, and now that I got that out of the way, I heard that these what's it called pre release. Hey, that Nuzleaf is so cool. I was you know what's funny? I was talking to my homie TJ, the one the dude that gifted me those, and I was telling him like, dude, Nuzleaf is so cool. And he was like, dude, fuck no sleep. I was like, ah, you don't know. You know, actually he does know. He's a pretty good collector himself. Um, yeah, but no sleep is so cool. Um, shift three. I'm not really, hey, a V in the first hit. Nice. Nice. That's beautiful. All right. So, so far it is proven this point that it, that these pre-release kits are, are pretty good. Um, and then just looking at the packs, I love the hollow foil, like the, like the, like you know like the holographic you know look to it. that's pretty fucking cool um i'm gonna be honest i was a little sketched out when i saw it in and like in pictures and shit but that's just because like i don't know if you guys know this but because and I, the only reason i know this is because i've seen a lot of fake packs but what's it called 
a lot of like fake packs use that sort of like colorfoil ish type thing so every single time that i see anything like that i'm a little hesitant because i'm like dude wife you know wife off is fake as far as like older packs but in this one it is the you know it is a standard that they use that and then torpedo metal energy nothing major but hey i like wava fit and the fact they have almost as a single strike decent um but yeah they're allowed on pretty cool i opened three packs earlier today in the full game with my homies and yo i didn't pull shit i was so pressed um i got some decent promos out of it so it's okay and it's okay um but yeah i just wanted to do a little vent video just to you know because it's been irking the hell out of me every that every single time someone dogs you know like flaffy and then you know what's crazy right now flaffy's going <laughs> i was i was watching poker Rev earlier flaffy's going for a cool dollar 25 right now on tcg player literally i would have a reverse rare and articuno nice little double banger little double banger she um and what's it called and that article so it is it is cool i like it and as you guys can see if you guys want to pause it uh that's what i was talking about exhaler's energy so but psychic energy you know all right so last pack let's see what's up but but yeah it's going for a, a dollar 25 right now the the black is but i literally sat there and watched um pokey rev open close to a thousand packs because i usually I, I i put on i put his videos on to like watch his like you know background noise and dude he was maybe pulling a, a flaffy once every 10 packs like no shit it was like a long like you know it was it was a long little little spill before he pulled the flaffy so um as good as his attack as as good as this uh this flaffy is gonna be i think it's gonna hold a higher premium than a dollar 25 um of course i'm i'm not i can't predict the future so of course i can't guarantee that but the way i see it right now it is going to be a harder pool and i think it is going to hold a higher premium than $1.25 or $1.50 um dude i hate this card i hate this line i hate that they gave it to ash and i usually don't say hate but dude come on that's gross and then my final hit is hey glorified gorgeous pretty nice pretty decent um i'm lying i don't care about that one the only reason i even remember it is because jesse had it in the anime but boys to wrap up this a little bit with a long video and usually i don't open four packs if you guys think pokemon cares about anything else except for the tcpg players comment down below and argue with me either way we out